Hey guys, in this lesson, I show you how to manually sync a mouth to a voice. There are a few different ways to mouth sync in Anime Studio. The one I'm showing you here is the method that I mostly use. There is another method where you can use an external software, import the audio, import your mouth poses, and the software is supposed to detect the way your mouth is supposed to move. However, it never seems to be quite accurate and it usually requires some tweaking on your end. So in the end, in my eyes, it just makes more sense to do it this way since you're going to be swapping symbols in and out anyway. Of course, that's a personal choice and I'll be demonstrating that way on how to sync mouths in a future lesson. But for right now, let's get started on this method. First, you're going to need a switch layer with multiple mouth poses. I showed you how to make a switch layer in a previous lesson. But as you can see on my layers, I have the mouth switch layer. And when I click that, I have all sorts of different poses. I have an F sound, TH sound. I have some open mouth poses, just in varying degrees, S sound, a closed mouth, and so on. So make sure that you have a few mouth poses ready to go before you dive in to the next part of this tutorial. Next, I will need you to import an audio of someone talking. So make sure you have a voice file on hand and just go to File, Import, Audio File. And then just go and browse to your computer and find that audio file and bring it in. And it will appear then in your layers at the top. And if your cursor was on frame zero when you imported it, it should start at the beginning and you can see that sound file on your timeline. Now the next step, although tedious, is to go through just step by step with your arrow keys, just kind of paging back and forth, and listening to what the audio file is doing and syncing your mouth to it. So click on your mouth switch layer and start at frame one and put down your starting mouth for frame one. In this case, I'll just put my still mouth down. So I'll right click and choose still. And then I'll just page through. And as you page through, you're going to hear the audio file play. Hey guys, Chad Trofgerman here. And so that way you can sync up the mouth to where you need it. So, at about right here, we have what appears to be me saying, hey. So I will right click and choose the open small. Hey, hey. And then right about there, it seems like I'm saying hey a little bit louder. So I will open this up and choose the medium. So my mouth is open more. <laughs> now again, it's closing a little bit. So you go to small and you just keep doing this. So right there, we have the S sound. So now if I go back here to frame one and play it, Hey guys, you can see that it's syncing up already. So what I'm going to do now is go through and do this for the rest of my audio file. And then I'll play it at the end so we can all see it. Okay, so once you have synced up your mouth, we can go back here to frame one and just scroll through it to see if it plays out. Hey guys, Chad Trofgerman here. In this tutorial, 
I show you how to swap objects in and out with the switch layer. It works out pretty good. And again, it takes a little bit of time. It's a little bit tedious because you're swapping back and forth. However, it does seem to deliver pretty good results if you just listen and apply the appropriate mouth poses. And remember too, you can get more detailed with this because each of these layers contain their own animations. So you could, for instance, go in with the F sound or the open sound and have that mouth animate a little bit for that pose. So you would have a more seamless looking mouth opening and closing, or you could do it as realistic as you wish by incorporating those animations if you wish. So there's a lot of flexibility there when it comes to this method. So play around with it and see what you can do. Anyway, I have more tutorials coming up, so I'll see you guys next time.